Welcome Geminis and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly medium message for week commencing Monday the 26th of December 2022 through to Sunday the 1st of January 2023. On the left hand side will be your crowning message card and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message card. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me the crowning messages from who wants to come through and what messages they have for the collective of Gemini. Sun, moon, rising and Venus for week commencing Monday the 26th of December 2022 through to Sunday the 1st of January 2023. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So you've got a bit of a bonus one that's coming in at Gemini's. All right, let's see. So we've got as a soul, I can be in several places at once. Okay. Remember me by the happy memories we created. And my mind is free. We are soulmates. Okay, so Gemini's who I am picking up. For some of you, it might be a grandmother, okay, or a mother figure. But I feel that I, I am picking up, mm, I am picking up a male energy. I'm not quite sure why or who. Maybe as we get through, they'll identify themselves. But I feel that this person, it's it's almost as if they are, they're free. Yeah, look, their mind is free. Their mind is free, but I feel that their body, their soul is free. Like they are, um, I whoever this person is, it feels like they are quite spiritual. Um, they've gone through a portal. They've gone through, they are definitely leaping um like leaps and bounds i feel that they are letting you know that if if i mean i don't know specifically who but i am picking up a grandmother but i'm also picking up a male energy and i don't i can't place it quite yet um but i feel that they are guiding you um that they can be in several places at once so it doesn't it could be like either this person has like they've got pockets of people that i feel that they are like helping move forward or making their dreams wishes um, manifestations intentions come true they are I feel that they, oh gosh, it feels as if this person, not only are they letting you know that they are your soulmate, and remember, um, family, friends, um, loved ones can, you know, can come in all shapes and sizes of soulmates, but it's almost as if this, this is why I'm picking up that they're spiritual, because it feels as if they are like a guardian angel, and they are the person, I feel that, catches dreams aspirations what's in your mind and they take it through a portal to go through gestation um as it goes up to um up above basically i know this sounds really woo woo but that's what i'm picking up and i am feeling that they're letting you know that they are they are no longer in pain so it feels as if either this person that has passed over Gemini's, their human body was in a lot of pain, but they were fully aware of it. They were, their mind was very free. Like their, their mind may have been roaming around because they may have known that they were, they were, they were getting ready to cross over. It feels as if they're now saying that they aren't any in any pain now. And it's like body, mind and soul have all become one again. 
And it feels as if this person is like a guardian angel to you. Somebody that um, your dreams, hopes, aspirations, they are catching it and they are taking it through a portal um, to uh, as it goes into gestation before it goes up to above, up, up to heaven. Many of you with this card here, I don't know why I'm really drawn to this card here. Um, I feel as if they're saying to you to go out and plant your seeds, like sow your oats. Maybe not liter like literally, but it's like go and plant the seeds of your future. Go plant the seeds of your future. And don't let anybody see this young energy. Like many of you, you may have known this person from childhood. It feels as if they are saying, don't let anybody tell you you're too young. Or if they look down on you and say, oh, you're too young. You don't know what you're talking about. Um, you're, that you're being guided. Don't pay attention to that. Remember the happy memories that you created with this person. This person may not have treated you like uh, like when you were young, they it's like they treated you, how can I put it, uh, like re they treated you like a, not an adult, but they valued your opinion. They spoke to you as if you were, you know, um, an adult. Like, for example, they weren't somebody that would be goo goo ga ga making noises no they would speak to you as if you could understand them when you were a young child and i feel that they are letting you know that don't let anybody tell you you're too young because they're saying you're not that you're not go forward and plant the seeds of your future don't let anybody um tell you you're too young i feel they're also letting you know with these happy memories it feels that um gemini's uh uh lo love faith love faith purity many of you um are pure at heart many of you may be still young at heart or you could be just just young i mean i don't know um, but I'm picking up that purity, that innocence, that love is, is like your gift. It's your gift. It's your energy. And it's like, use it, use it now to plant the seeds of your future. And the same way that their mind is free, they're saying free your mind from any restrictions Anything that is holding you back. But you and this person that has passed over, this is somebody that you've known in your childhood. You may have even grown up with this person. So it could be a grandmother, but I am picking up a male energy. Uh, is the sea, did you, did you walk beaches with this person? This feels like a, a, a like a sea, like by the sea, water. Maybe you walked along water with each other. Greeneries, did you walk in fields, walk by a beach or something? But the two of you are soulmates, even though this person is like older than you or an elder, like I'm feeling that they, they spoke to you. They didn't speak to you as a child. They spoke. They, it feels as if they had very adult conversations with you, if I'm being honest. You know, they were quite direct, straight. They, they weren't goo goo ga ga with you. No, they spoke to you as a, you know, a young adult or a young, you know, um, a per they spoke to you as a person. Yeah, they weren't a goo goo ga ga with you at all. And it's because they're saying that, that you're soulmates. Now, for many of you, you may have met your soulmate. Or you're thinking that you've met your soulmate or you want to meet your soulmate. 
I feel that they're saying plant the, um, and you may be waiting, waiting for affirmation. If somebody you've met um, in this lifetime, uh, a love connection, maybe you're asking whether or not they are a soulmate. Whoever has passed over, either they're giving affirmation, maybe you're waiting for an answer. They're saying to use your intuition. Wow, th that's really deep what's coming in for you. Um, Gemini, the Geminis. Look, your card is curiosity, intellect and networking. So it might be that they're, they're guiding you. Don't be too quick to, I don't know. Oh God, it sounds really weird, but don't be too quick to like settle down or, you know, go and plant the seeds of your future. Live your dreams, basically. Live your dreams. Either you are around a soulmate, but they are definitely giving you, um, letting you know that they were a soulmate to you. You were their soulmate or your soulmates. And they see that very, very clearly. Um, and if you're waiting to find out if a love connection is a soulmate, I kind of feel that they're saying free your mind, use your intuition um, and be in the here and now. Yeah, maybe there is a lot more that you've got to do before you get involved with um, or you share your life with somebody. Many of you, you may want to meet your soulmate, uh, like a love connection. I feel that they're saying just be in the present, live your dreams, plant the seeds of your future. And certainly don't let anybody tell you that you're too young for whatever your dreams and aspirations are. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me the crowning wisdom messages to the question, who wants to come through and what messages do they have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising and Venus. For week commencing Monday the 26th of December 2022 through to Sun. Thank you. Oh my God, I can't even believe that. Look at that. Go out and plant new life seeds. So for your future. Yeah. It's almost as if they're saying don't get wrapped up in like love. Like if you're wanting to meet your soulmate, it feels as if they're saying there's plenty of time for that. You will meet your soulmate. Thank you. But right now it feels as if you're, you're being guided to go forward with your dreams, your aspirations. Yeah, believe in yourself and your abilities. We believe in you. Yeah, there's more than one energy coming through here. So for some of you, it could be a grandmother. You've got to remember that these are collective readings. So different energies will come in. And then we've got, let us hug you, close your eyes as we hold you close. Yeah. Many of you, I feel that you're a young you're, you're young at heart or you're young in age. And I feel that they're guiding you. Don't let anybody tell you that you're young. They're going to hold you close. I feel they're saying to you to free your mind. Their mind is free. It's almost as if this, whoever it is that's coming through, there's several energies coming through. It's almost as if they are imparting wisdom of maybe they lived their life in a very free spirited way gemini's um and it's like they're wanting you to like follow that path follow that path in a free in independent way and let nobody tell you that you're too young there's two you've got a young monkey here and you've got a young child here mm, interesting and i feel that they're saying follow your intuition walk in faith your faith, your purity of your innocence or youngness, okay? Um, your faith is something that is your gift. It's your energy. Yeah, that, that is never going to leave you, it feels. Okay, Gemini's, if this message and whatever it is they're asking you to plant, curious, 
um, use your intellect. Many of you are very in, um, intellectual. You may network uh, uh, amongst different people. I feel that they're saying keep up that curiosity, keep up that networking, plant those seeds with different people, like build up your allies. And it feels as if they'll be allies for life. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Gemini's. And with the two butterflies, I feel that they're saying that, yeah, you are, if you are a young individual, I can't put an age on it, but it's like by networking, by sowing your seeds. I, I got sowing your yeah, planting seeds for your future. The card that's come out is plant new life seeds. So it's like whatever you're doing now, believe in yourself, believe in your abilities, start planting those seeds now because it's going to pay dividend in the future. It For many of you, it's going to be transformational. Something that you do now is going to be transformational for you in the future. All right, Geminis, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Geminis. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Ex, um, existing subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really appreciated. And I really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's um, message. Let's get into your main message from your past loved ones. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me who would like to come through and what messages they have for the collective of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for week commencing Monday the 26th of December 2022 through to Sunday the 1st of January 2023. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Gemini that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right. Let's have a look. All right. My, ooh, oh, okay. Wow. All right. Yeah, you are definitely being guided to walk in faith. That's your victory with the sun. You, yeah, many of you, either you, if this is a love connection or you're inquisitive or you are curious about love, um, will you meet your soulmate? Will you marry your soulmate? I feel that you will do, but it will be in the future. It will definitely be in the future, but you need to plant the seeds now. Uh, many of you, you're being guided definitely to walk in faith. Um, divine spirit universe it feels as if they've got your back you will be very very victorious um, with future dreams aspirations but it's like plant those seeds now okay could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo or you could have Taurus or Leo in your um, chart but I feel as if um, you've got a really bright future remember walk in faith your love faith and what was the other one? Pure, your purity is your energy. It is your gift. And if you, it's almost as if it, as you use it wisely and don't let anybody tell you that you're too young for something or whatever it is that you want to aspire to, believe in yourself and take that massive leap forward in faith. You will be victorious. Thank you. So, yeah, look at that. There's the two of coins. Many of you, um, I feel as if with the two of coins, you've got Capricorn coming up here. So you could either have Capricorn or you could have Capricorn in your chart. Um, it feels as if you see the birds and the butterflies. Many of you 
either you are um, either restricting yourself or if you notice how the butterflies are like on puppet strings here, you may be trying to please everybody. And I feel whoever's coming in is saying that you've got time on your side. Many of you, it feels as if you're a young person or young at heart. You've got time on your side and it feels as if you're being guided. Don't be puppet. Don't don't allow people to don't allow yourself to be puppets on people's strings. Does that make sense? Like be your own person. Yeah. As long as you are walking in faith with love and purity within your heart, time is on your side. For many of you with the two of coins, this is all about choices. Um, you could be getting different messages from different people, different influences with the choices that you make. I feel that they're saying to you, the time is on your side. You don't need to be, you don't need to please everybody, basically. Yeah. You may not have to make a choice right here, right now. But because there could be a lot of people that you're getting advice from probably advising you go this way no go that way go this way it's almost as if it's 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 blocking your transformation it's blocking who you are supposed to be so it feels as if you don't need to make any choices right now the two of coins is about choices many of you may be feeling unbalanced you know maybe going back and forth between one choice and another choice because there are other people that are my maybe encouraging you and I don't feel like it's um uh, in a in a horrible way I feel that they're encouraging you because they love you but it's it's almost like each path can take you down a different route but time is on your side you don't have to make any decisions now but it feels as if they're saying to you plant the seeds of the future that you want for yourself Okay. For some of you, if this is love, you might have a choice between two people. So the Knight of Coins. Okay, yeah. So they've given me affirmation. Um, this is an uncle that has come that's come through. An uncle, but it feels like somebody. This person was solid. They were grounded. Look at the three coins. They want you to put the work in your future. Plant those seeds. This is an uncle that's coming through. Mm. Either the uncle was married or it feels as if... Um, This person may have been of faith. It feels like this person is bound to you in some way. Like there was a blessing. Maybe this person was around when you were christened or something. Like I said, this person is somebody that you know from a young child. Somebody that you've known literally all your life. Knight of Coins, that is definitely, I'm just double checking my, because um, my guides gave me in advance when I first started doing mediumship of the different characters in the tarot cards that represented family members, children, siblings, friends, cousins. And Knight of Coins, yeah, Knight of Coins, 100%. This is an uncle that's coming through. I did pick up a female energy, like I said, a grandmother. Um, but again, it's, it's, it's a collective read. So for some of you, it could be a grandmother. For some of you, 100%, it's an uncle. And with the, yeah, look at this, the Ten of, the Ten of Coins. The Ten of Coins and we've got the uh, Eight of Wands. So there's communication. 
okay? Um, there is building a future for yourself. This is about money. This is about stability. This is about financial health. And it feels as if they are saying to you, use your intuition, okay? And communicate, communicate with confidence, believe in yourself when you have to make a choice or you may have to either shut down ideas of different sets of people around you. And I feel that their intentions are honourable and they just want the best for you. But it feels as if you're being guided to communicate what you definitely don't want and what you want to pursue. And to do it with confidence, focus Focus on your abilities, focus on what you believe in, because whatever it is that is your heart's desires, um, Gemini, your uncle is definitely coming through and they're saying plant the seeds now for your future. Many of you are going to earn money. <coughs> Or if you are earning a lot of money at now, maybe invest. They say invest. But you may need to communicate and shut down some of these butterflies here that are, are on um, puppet strings. Okay. So we have got Virgo popping up here. We've got Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Capricorn. Let's clarify. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I feel with the page of pentacles, uh, this is letting me know that this, that there's, a, that there's a connection between this uncle. Either this person is more than an uncle to you because it feels as if as a young person, they were around. They were uh, either you were part of a church or they were part of a church, but it feels as if they were around. They were... Um, Maybe they knew that you are a blessing. Yeah. And I feel that they're saying to you to walk in faith, walk in faith and communicate what it is you want for yourself. Many of you with the four of swords, they either are. Okay. They know that you were heartbroken. So for many of you, like I said, it feels as if this person, when they passed over, like their body and their mind weren't connected. So their body may have been in a lot of pain, but their mind was um, free, um, but they were fully aware of what was going on. Many of you, it may have taken you a lot of time to process that this person must have been in a lot of pain. They're saying, look, they, are, they aren't in any pain now. It feels as if their mind and body is now in unity. They're saying that maybe some of you, you need to talk about it. Because they can see the sadness. They can see that you're processing it. But either you and this person were very closely connected to a church they're just saying, don't forget your faith. Your faith, love, purity is something that is your gift. It's your energy. It's like, that's what fuels you. And that is what will be your success. Justice, yeah. This is letting me, oh, geez, this is so beautiful. This is letting me know. That whoever your uncle is that's coming up in, that they had a soul contract with you. They are your soulmate. They had a soul contract with you. Now, for many of you, uh, either they had a soul contract that was within the church. OMG. OMG, I, uh, okay, 
there is somebody out there that I I feel that I know who this person is that's coming in and who they are. But this is a collective read, but I've just, the penny has just dropped. Your uncle, you, you definitely had a soul contract. That soul contract was made in a church when you were young. Okay. And it feels as if they fulfilled their soul contract with you. And it was because uh, you were soulmates. This person, this uncle that has come in Gemini's, they were in your life for a reason. And it feels as if... Um, um, it feels as if they fulfilled their contract with you. You also could be dealing with the Libra or you could have Libra in your chart. It's almost as if they're saying remain balanced, remain focused, okay, on your dreams, on your abilities, on what you want for yourself and believe in yourself. Um, I feel that this person um as a soulmate when you were living they have almost leveled up to a guardian angel for you and i feel that they will help you and guide you for new beginnings things that you are passionate about things that your abilities things that you believe in there is a new beginning there is a new beginning they they're saying just reach out to them if you're uncertain they will help you to balance out your thinking your thinking they are asking you to remember all the beautiful memories that you had with them from a child and it feels as if this person was always part of your life gemini's thank you yeah, many of you, you're being guided um, with the Six of Swords. Um, any kind of, um, like, <sighs> Swords are communication, okay? The Eight of Wands is communication, but it's action. You're being guided to take action to communicate to those people that you're, you may be trying to please, if you don't want to go down that road, then like it's almost like thanks, but no thanks. And then move forward. But you need to communicate it. You do need to communicate it. If you need a helping hand, um, I feel ask your uncle. They will guide you. With the chariot, you could be dealing with the Cancerian or you could have cancer in your chart. Many of you, if you are still um, processing the passing of this person, an uncle, I feel that um, I feel that he's saying um, you will move forward from this and you will be victorious um, in terms of healing, in terms of um peace within yourself okay but i also feel that they're saying that you will be victorious when you speak your truth and move forward from people that are trying to influence you or steer you in one direction he's saying basically time is on your side you don't have to make a choice right here right now reach out to him he will send you messages okay and for many of you, you're going to be victorious over some deep healing. And it feels as if it's the healing of the passing of um, this uncle. The two of you, your uncle and you may be from different backgrounds. I know that sounds very odd. Because we have a um, dark finx here and a fair finx. The two of you might have been actually from different cultures. So as I say, it's like it could be an uncle that's come back that that is through like not a blood uncle. But this person was in uh, in the church, they were with you if you uh, were heavily in the church as a youngster, they were there, they were there. But there's differences between the two of you. You may also have lived in different places, like different countries. 
but it feels as if this person still communicated oh the wheel of fortune i told you your uncle uh there was a soul contract that they had and with the sun it feels as if they letting you you know that they fulfilled their soul contract with you because they were fated to be in your life as your soul mate I also feel that they're letting you know that it's you're fated for happiness. You're fated for abundance. But you don't need to make a choice now. Plant the seeds of your future now, yes. But you don't need to make any hard and fast, like, decisions. Time is on your side. Uh uh, Gemini, we've got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius coming up here. I feel with the eight of coins, again, look at the amount of coins. Many of you, I feel that you're being guided to pay attention to the detail of, um, you know, the seeds that you plant for the future. Put in the work now. It's going to pay dividend um, later on. Yeah, yeah. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please can you thank you. With the uh, king of swords, either, um, yeah, well, yeah, your um, uncle, I would say that this person was very direct, straight to the point. Like I said to you, they didn't speak to you like you were goo goo gaga. No, they spoke to you as if you were a young adult, you know, a, a person. They spoke to you as if you were a person. Even growing up, you may have been young. Yes, they may have been older than you, but it feels as if they never treated you like a young child. They were very direct. They were very blunt. They were very straight to the point. They never minced their words. And they are open to guide you, to talk to you, to communicate with you. Whatever your wishes and dreams and aspirations are, reach out to them. They will carry it into germestation um, as it goes up to um, up above. Yeah. Yeah. I feel as well they are saying cut out any nonsense of um taking paths that is it that you're not feeling it basically like politely diplomatically thanks but no thanks and move on from it hear people's opinions I feel he you know he's saying yeah hear people's opinions but cut out what doesn't serve you and communicate it bloody clearly yeah stay focused you see that Sagittarius and that arrow stay focused on what you believe you want to do what your dreams and aspirations are I feel as well um your uncle is coming in to say like close your eyes um, he will hold you close. I almost can picture this person um, carrying you and holding you um, as a baby, as a child. So they may be very direct and maybe very curious themselves, very intellectual. Um, I feel that they are, but they were also very loving, also very, very loving. And I feel that they're saying that hasn't gone away. But this person with the Wheel of Fortune, the Justice card, this is telling me this person had a soul contract with you. They were your soulmate. They were in your life for a reason. It feels like they were a voice of reason. Yeah, I feel that you're being guided to fight for your future. Fight for your future. Cut out what doesn't serve you. Because that is where you will build your abundance or abundance. Build a future so that you don't really want for anything. It almost feels as if they're saying, make sure that you communicate. You know, don't be a people pleaser. You don't have to make any choices right now. But cut out what doesn't serve you and fight for what you want. That is where your abundance, your breakthroughs will come through. And if you can do that and be honest with people, like I say, in a very diplomatic, 
you know, remember what they're saying was love, purity. What was the other one? Love, purity, innocence, was it? Faith, faith. They're just showing me the faith card. Those are gifts, okay? So use that to, you know, politely let people that want to help you on your path um, politely say thanks, but no thanks, but be very clear with that communication and then move forward. If you can do that, your future is very bright because they're saying fight for what you want. Don't be a people pleaser. Let's uh, clarify the eight of wands. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me? Oh, wow. Okay. So for many of you, yeah, I feel that you're waiting, waiting to make choices. Maybe there's a, a lot of, I don't know. There's a lot of choices that you've got, but I do feel that you, you know, with the seven of coins here and the eight of coins, it's about planting and sowing the uh, seeds for the future and then waiting for it to grow. Many of you, you could, you know, you've got a future that is abundant. I feel with the queen of wands and the four of wands, this feels a little bit like love here. Um, you may be conflicted with regards to somebody that is uh, perhaps very passionate, very fiery, very attractive, very independent they think for themselves okay i feel that your uncle is saying do you remember i said you might be um waiting to find out whether or not a love connection is a soulmate i feel that your uncle is saying like you've got enough time for that because it's creating a lot of internal conflict for you this person that queen of wands doesn't feel like it's your energy it feels like it's a love connection or a potential love connection five wands is internal conflict i feel that many of you you've planted the seeds with regards to this love connection and you may be waiting waiting to see is this person my soulmate is this person i'm supposed to build a future with um maybe have long-term commitment with i feel that your uncle is saying there's plenty of time for that because right now with the four wands and that one wand which is five wands that's internal conflict it's almost like if it's giving you that much internal conflict just put it down for the moment fight for your future of what you want to do and it feels as if your dreams your aspirations yeah this situation it will it will reveal itself for some of you it's it you know maybe this person is a soulmate okay but it's creating a lot of conflict within you he's saying that you don't need to choose now time is on your side it, and like i said i didn't want to kind of say it outright it's kind of like your soulmate love marriage long-term commitment like you got time for all of that. Don't, it's almost like, don't worry about that right now. Many of you, you could have communication coming in from this person. Um, I feel that possibly they want you to surrender to the connection. Um, they may want you to choose them. They may be, you know, pulling your strings like, you know, they want something serious. It feels as if your uncle is saying, <laughs> it feels as if your uncle say you don't need to make a decision right now. You just don't need to make a decision. There's plenty of time for that. Okay. I feel that your message is definitely to focus on yourself, Gemini, and focus on your dreams, your aspirations, and to plant the seeds of that now for your future because many of you have a very bright with the sun and the 10 coins here lots of coins i feel that your uncle is saying actually you've got a very very beautiful bright future where you are not going to want for anything um so plant the seeds um with regards to that now okay wow that was a real humdinger uh, of a message let me see what advice your uncle wants to say for some of you it might be a grandmother okay um that queen of wands let me see let me just double check my 
queen of wands well that i've got that down as a cousin i wasn't feeling a cousin if i'm being honest i wasn't feeling a cousin um but i did as i was channeling pick up a grandmother energy all right your first advice coming in i'm gonna go with an uncle i'm going with an uncle there's too much here that's indicating an uncle um be of service yeah it feels as if your uncle is being guided you're being guided don't forget your faith be of service so i don't know whether or not gemini's you were of service in the church when you were young okay but it feels as if your uncle was around around you in church or there was something something to do with church and faith is a common denominator between you and your uncle he's just reminding you to be of service be of love be of faith be of purity everyone has value beautiful yeah it's like it's like your uncle is saying look everybody has value everybody is important we're all connected is what i feel he's trying to say um have respect and integrity and grace for all those that are around you for many of you like i said with that two of coins you've got a lot of people giving you advice giving you um you know trying to guide you or influence a path or paths that you're being guided to take everybody has value like i said i don't feel that they're saying or encouraging you to take different paths or explore different paths because they're being unkind no it's out of love your uncle is saying that these people love you they are valuable to you but you don't need to be a puppet on their string and look calm is not a weakness yeah so for many of you you may very much calmly just kind of like yeah 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 i'll yeah i'll i'll look into this i'll look into that i'll look into that and then sometimes you could just turn around and think oh bloody hell why didn't i just say actually no i don't want to do that i want to go and do this he's saying that your calmness is not a weakness actually it is your gift it is your strength it is your energy be of service everyone is of value walk in faith Focus on love of within your heart space. Again, green coming out here. Um, feel, feel love for everybody. Yeah, your calmness isn't a weakness and don't let anybody tell you differently. No matter how young you are, yeah. Many of you, you may um, uh, portray yourself a lot older than you are because of your calmness, because of your purity, your faith, the love that is within you, you've been gifted with those gifts. And I feel that your uncle is saying, don't forget that. That is what is going to carry you through to the future. Beautiful. Let's have a look and see what your scripture message is. We're almost finished, Gemini. This was a long reading. I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh my God. And it's even longer. They've given me four scriptures. Well, this is the one. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, Gemini's. So Numbers um, chapter six, verses 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Um, in my faith, that is the Lord's prayer. One of the Lord's prayers that you uh, that you bless people with. Yeah. And I feel that you are a blessing. You're a blessing to a lot of people. OK, you may not realize it, but you are. And I feel that you are blessed and they um I, let me quickly go through this um joshua um verses one to nine this is my command be strong and courageous don't be afraid or discouraged for the lord your god is with you wherever you go again remember be of service be of good heart be of love be of faith um and that is what is going to carry you through and then we have Oh my God, you have got literally the Lord's Prayer. 
Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Matthew 6 verses 9 to 13. I feel many of you, there's a very strong uh, religious um, faith that is coming in in this reading and your final card it says and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose many of you you've got a life in service and I don't mean as like um or maybe a priest or a priestess i don't know um but i feel it's the it's the it's the essence of being in service of recognizing all living things is of value do you remember everyone has value uh many of you you may have been in service in the church as a young child um, I mean, that is not a coincidence. Two of the Lord's prayers are coming out here. And I feel that you're being reminded of your faith. You are being definitely reminded. Uh, Divine Spirit Universe has definitely got your back. If you walk in like that purity, love and faith. Yeah, I'm going to leave that there for you, Geminis. I'm fully aware I've taken far far too long to do this weekly read but it feels as if this was a very big message um to do with your future this isn't just um this week ahead um this is to do with um being true to yourself and um fighting for your future believing in yourself and your abilities and what you want to sow for the future. I'm going to leave that there for you. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.